Good morning everyone. I hope you're all having a good morning on Saturday and we are on Jellington Challenge and I'm just quickly looking at the map. We have fertilised field 10 however 34 which I was going to do next seems to be halfway through complete ready to harvest so I've been told that for fertilization to take effect you need to do it in the process of when it's growing so the by the time we get down to the field and start fertilizing it might not be worth it might be already be complete of being grown so I think we're gonna to have to give 34 a skip I'm afraid so what I've done is we've jumped in the uh, the Ford and we're quickly going to oops got run down to the shop what am I looking for sprayers okay and uh, we'll have to go pick up this sprayer it's only cost a thousand it's an old sprayer looks Russian but you know it's, it's better than paying out two and a half thousand and seven hundred like three thousand something every time to rent those two sprayers so we'll go pick this up at least we've got a sprayer now so as you can see the money has come down we had thirty thousand nine hundred and 996 or something like that I've deducted £1,800 uh, which has gone to Tony for the modifications to the Massey Ferguson 698 and we've just purchased this old sprayer for £1,000 so we'll go pick this up at the shop and we'll head back then we're going to check the figures because we didn't check the figures the last episode of the cows and sheep and stuff. I want to make sure, even though we've topped up the, um, you know, the water and stuff, I want to check on the grass. We still have to give manure to the greenhouses. We have to shift those weights. So we'll do that when we get back to the yard. So we've got a few things to do this episode, and then we can start um, focusing on the fields. Is it fields? You know what? I don't even know. Field six. Yeah, field six and nine for wheat and barley and uh, get the canola harvest and basically the next few episodes are definitely going to be harvesting four fields um, I'll try to cut a lot of it out um, as you guys know I don't do any video editing whatsoever so what I record is what you guys see right I think we're close to the shop it's not that one is it no this one it's been a while since I've been here normally we rent stuff and it appears in the yard well it looks fairly decent you know let me have a look Yeah, looks alright. I mean, I, won't, I don't know how wide it will be. It definitely won't be, what's the other one? 25 foot, is it? Oh, something like that. It's a harvester. It's a, a harvester. It's a, you know, a fertilizer spreader which costs us a thousand pound and it saves us the rent cost of the, uh, of the more modern ones. Should we unfold it and just have a look and see how far that, uh... That's not too bad. That's not bad, really. If we're honest. I don't know what the capacity of this would be. But, uh, yeah, I think it... Um, <laughs> that will do. That's absolutely fine. You know, it might take a bit longer, but it's, cost, it's saving us money.
could use the Ford or um, I think Thomas recommended one of my subscribers uh, mention using the Maxi Ferguson 188 out on the field at the moment that's not being out of the yard so I guess we could try that out as well looks alright trying to open that window whilst we're driving let's try again that's not going to work because I think we've yeah it's not going to work is it it's in where I thought it might open just a bit but obviously it's going to open a lot wider so we won't bother with that I do like the back windows open though I have windows open on the car. Yeah, it's not a bad little... Um, fertilizer spread of that, to be honest with you. I like it. start using my Setex steering wheel on my uh, private map of Cobra Park Farm so I can get used to it and then I think we're going to introduce it into this map and uh, Thornton, Sandy Bay eventually. It just gives you a more realistic turning with the steering and the acceleration. I can control the acceleration around the farm. Um, I like to take the tractor steady through the yard and stuff and it's hard to control that because the arrow keys are, well it's all or nothing so you put your foot down you know, it's like if I put my foot down in my Audi RS6 you know, but sometimes I just want to take it easy so you just put your foot down a little bit and you can do that with the pedals which comes with the Statec steering wheel so I think it will be more overall more realistic and more enjoyable gameplay if I definitely can master the Sertex steering wheel. The downside is I have to take it off the desk every time when I do the thumbnails and, uh, and reply to comments and stuff because, um, you know, or do other stuff, work related stuff and, and that. But apart from that, I can't see any other problems using it until I get used to it. I might set up a dedicated PC and use this one for, for modify this PC for video editing when I get my teeth into that and then set up another computer purely just for farming simulator so I don't have to move the steering wheel um, I am currently looking at setting up a new spec with the new 1080s what I've just been released so I'm guessing in the next three or four months I'll have a new computer and then this will get moved to the right of me in the office. Lewis's computer, my son's computer, that will be moved to his um, room. And then I can tweak this computer for scratch disks and get a capture card and all that. And, and set it up for video editing. Alright, we'll put this in here. leave uh, the Ford here as well so we need manure let's do the manure jump in the 698 I think the manure fork is down here it is Or the top of the manure.
Come on, Carol, you didn't wear. Obviously, you can't hear me. Oh, must have heard me. Why, thank you. It's all right. You're welcome. Might top up the water so these guys, these uh, tanks are full as well. Right, that's one. My bad. So that's one done. I'm going to try again. Two loads, two loads each, and then water again each. And then we'll move the, uh, the, the weights for the 188. So, I asked Tony when I rang him up and told him that I've paid the invoice, um, can you look out for any second hand harvesters? He says, oh, I've got plenty in. So, um, a lot of classes, um, that's mainly what he's got. So I guess he'll have something for us. He says, what's your price? I went, anything really between 30 to 50,000 so it looks like the next big payout guys is going to be a bigger harvester and with a lot of harvesting coming up I think we you know we're just going to have to buy his tongue and buy the harvester before we buy um, you know the rest of the uh, the equipment I mean okay we bought a, a fertilizer spray but it was only a thousand pound so not not too bad. Brilliant. Right, let's move around. to the yard here and move back to get another load top that up I think the greenhouses are consuming more manure than what the cows are producing Definitely need to get that harvest going, so I hope Tony comes back to me more or less straight away and goes, right, I've got whatever, you know, uh, X amount, and we'll just get it get it paid and get it, get it brought down, and then we can start using that harvester along with the harvester we've currently got. And get both going. Okay guys, that is the manure topped up. Now we know that we need um, another two runs of water, so we'll do that now. We're going to use the 188 for that because that four doesn't have a big enough turning circle.
Um, where am I going? What am I doing? Let's drop off this fork. And I think we'll just leave. Try not to hit it, never mind. Let's just push it back. Just leave it here. Right, now then, I want 188. Start this up. Hook it up. Now, the bigger one was for the 698, which can still go on. But put it over here. And then we'll reattach the smaller one back onto the massive Ferguson 188. Get this filled up and take it down to the greenhouses so I know they're done. And then hopefully he comes back to me sometime today or tomorrow and says, Yes, I've got this right, brilliant. Um, and then in the next day or two, brings it down to me. Or tomorrow, hopefully, if we can get it down. I'm not bothered about servicing all, I just want to get crack on with that harvest. I guess we could make a harvest with a smaller one. Just me, or is the half of the wheel missing? I don't want the greenhouses to be running out. I don't know how long they were sat there dry. Okay, get that done. 98%, so we'll call it full. Then we'll go give another one to this one. Then we'll check the stats. And I think I'm going to do the headlands. Make the start on the headlands in field uh, 6. Whilst Tony's figuring out what he's got and come back to me for the harvesters. Brilliant cultivator that, but it doesn't have the dirt mod on it, so it doesn't get dirty. So we have to keep uh, keep an eye out for another one eventually. A cedar, we need a cedar drill. But you know one thing what struck me last night um, when I was looking through the mod websites we don't have a plough. What farmer doesn't have a plough? I put my head under the pillow for 10 minutes in shame that we don't have a plough. It never occurred to me whatsoever that we don't have a plough. I'm, I'm just, I'm a sh totally ashamed that we don't have a plough, so that's something we definitely need to buy. Soon. I need a plough. I'm not a farmer until I've had a plough, until I've got a plough. So I've downloaded a few. Three or four different ones and stuff. 
some smaller ones to use on the Massey 698 and the 188 or the Ford a few bigger ones and very big ones so we've got a bit of a you know a range we need to buy that other what you call it as well don't we um, other water tank and take this to Meadow Valley um, right so I'm going to park this up, switch it off and then what we'll do now is we'll quickly check the stats, let's have a look where we are right so, as you can see, field 10 and 34 are close to being ready for harvesting. Our fields 45 and 1 are ready. So we can, I guess we could do field 1 with a smaller one and get the canola in. Yeah, we're going to do that. So we'll do that. Right, let's have a look at the stats. Cows on 10, sheep 15. Okay. Right, manure, yeah, okay, mixed ration, don't have any silage, so what, yeah, so we've got grass, right, they could do with some more silage, so we'll have to do silage after we do the headlands, really, I guess, um, we don't need to do a grass cut, the sheep and, uh, and so forth, they're happy and the cows are happy at the moment. Um, one thing I am going to do, guys, um, I'm going to buy two extra cows. Um, just to increase productivity. So now we have 12 cows. Right, I'm going to go do the headlands. In fact, I'm just going to harvest field one with that smaller harvester and get that ready, get that going and then come back and do the silage and top up the water again um, right so I want to you be using I want to be using the Ford for the trailer so we'll get the trailer hooked up We're going to harvest We're going to harvest that canola I hope this is um, I hope this tractor is alright with something like this on the back Be alright I think The smallest fold out of the, uh, the three so Right we'll put that there get the harvester fired up it's 20 to 1 so we've got a few 6 hours or 7 or so, 6 or 7 hours ready to start harvesting or to harvest rather get field 1 done so I'm going to leave it there guys and I'm going to make a start on this field field 1 with the canola and get that um, get that harvested and get it in storage whilst Tony's coming back with me with a price on what harvesters he's got for sale um, so yeah uh, we don't have enough money at the moment I don't think I guess they're gonna be 30 grand plus or something stupid but we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see so thanks for watching guys hope you're gonna have a good afternoon today Saturday good weekend I will see you in tomorrow's episode, so have fun and bye for now.